Hey, this is Paolo from DMB Academy, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the bass line from the track Out There by Smooth featuring DC Breaks. So, this is the original track. And this is the sound we're going to be making. But before we get started, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos, and if you want the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch, but first let me show you how you program the baseline. There are two ways in which you can do this. The first one is using MIDI notes and using the mono, legato, and portamento function by activating those and setting this, for example, to 120 or 30 milliseconds. The second one is by using the pitch bang wheel like this. You just gotta set it on eight going up and minus one going down. So now, something like that. And now let me show you the MIDI version. So here in the piano roll, you have the F notes. And what you can do is you can add notes that go above this so they create the pitch bend. Something like this. And of course, you gotta go back into Serum and play with the glide time and fine tune all the notes. For me, it's easier to use the pitch bend wheel, which in this case, we gotta open Serum, click on it, then go into the automation menu and create an automation for it. For example, something like this. There you go. This one, we're going to put it one down. There you go. For me, it's easier to program it that way. But it was worth mentioning how to use the MIDI notes and the glide. So now let's go back into our patch. And here we're going to select the waveform icon has kick because it has a really cool texture. And that is the one of a saw wave with all of his faces messed up. I'm not saying this wavetable is that, but this waveform right here does sound like that. Very similar to loading a saw wave and using a multiband compressor and using the crossovers to create that mess in the faces, like this. It's very similar to this. But of course, with less highs. So once we have this waveform, we can add some noise and filter this noise using the main filter. In this case, I'm going to use high 24, route the noise through it, remove all resonances. And this is basically all the foundations of our sound. Now let's go into the effects and add distortion. We're going to drive it a lot like that. But instead of distorting the whole waveform, we're going to set it on, on pulse mode and then use a high pass. and only store everything above 1K, but then we're gonna mix this in. There you go. Next, we're gonna add the multiband compressor that we talked about. There you go. And now let's jump into a bit of post-processing. So first, let's add Trash 2. And here in Trash, once again, we're gonna set it on multiband. And we're gonna divide this into two bands only. So let's get rid of the mid band. And now let's bring this crossover to around 200 hertz. And now on the lows, we're gonna just drive them a little bit up. Just so we have a more present sub. But now on the rest, and here's the key of the sound, we gotta play with different distortion modes. So a lot of the harmonics get really pushed in the mix. So let's go into drive and let's experiment with the modes. Let's set the drive up, like this, and now let's boost it, and now let's keep experimenting. Sounds like we have too much noise, so let's go back into Serum and let's bring the noise down.
4% should be fine. Now let's go back into trash. Let's increase the drive. I think I like this mode. Let's try a different one. We're gonna stay with this one. Again, this phase is all about experimenting. Next, we're gonna add some OTT again to keep messing with the faces of this saw wave. There we go. Let's increase the time, bring the amount down and boost the output so we have a louder sound. Cool. Now let's add an EQ. We can also add a chorus before all of this. But be really subtle with this. Maybe only like 10%. Now in this EQ, make sure you put it on mid time mode and you go into the side and cut this off on the sides. There you go. And now with this EQ on the mids, you can get really creative because you can use notches, for example, to give a different texture into your sound. In this case, I'm gonna boost the highs. I really like this notch here in the mids. And next we're gonna add a saturator, but the saturator which is gonna use it to soft clip everything. And here is the experimentation phase. For example, to change the format of the sound, you can bring something in like a phaser and then play with the frequency. Or go back into your EQ and play with different notches and automate them however you want. In this case, I'm going to keep it simple. You can also layer bases. For example, we can agree that the serum plus the distortion makes the foundations of the sound, so we can group those. And then we can duplicate this, and we're going to have the first chain as the main layer. And then we can do something like a stereo layer. And on this layer, instead of using this waveform, we can switch it for something different. For example, a subby saw, which is a bit more weird. Add a lot of unison. Cool. And then we can do something like adding an EQ and only using higher frequencies. Mixing this very low. And now we're adding some sides into this bass. Which in the end just makes the sound fuller. Now you can go back into Serum and change the waveforms. Bring it down. Let's put it into a regular saw wave. Let's see what happens. I liked it better with or subby saw. Let's bring the noise down. And as you can see, there are just many, many different possibilities with this sound. And I encourage you to learn what creates this very interesting bass. Experiment with all the different effects that you can add and create your own sound to come up with something original. So that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.